hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous uh, videos related to uh, iot we have discussed uh, the communication models okay and we discussed about the request response and publish subscribe communication models okay so you please check out those videos so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the push pull communication there are two communication models remaining the push pull and the exclusive pair so let us just have a quick uh, refresh uh, the communication model what uh, what it is so the communication models in iot they define the manner in which the data or information is shared or exchanged between the various devices involved in the network okay the how okay the manner in which the data is circulated so the commonly used uh, models are these four request response publish subscribe push pull and exclusive pair we have already covered these two request response and publish subscribe so today's video uh, let's first discuss the push pull communication model okay in the push pull communication model it consists of two elements two main parties are involved here data producers and data consumers as the name suggests data producers they generate data they create data the data consumers they use the data which is created by the data producers okay in the previous communication models also there were uh, parties involved in the publish subscribe publishers were the data producers subscribers were the consumers in the request response model there were two parties involved first the client which required the data okay the consumer of the data and the server which was the storehouse of data okay so in the push pull model there are two main parties okay the data producers they generate data related to various topics okay and then they push this data into queues now here the queues you can uh, you can understand it uh, as a waiting list okay the data producers they push the data into the queues okay when they upload it on the internet when uh, they 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 upload it or send it on the internet it is automatically uh, pushed into these queues it depends on the type of application or software or the uh, social media platform they are using okay whether this uh, that social media platform is based on push pull model or client server model or publish subscribe it depends so this data generated by the various data producers it gets pushed into the queues and the data consumers they pull the data out of those queues now here you don't take it in literal sense that it is pushed or pulled you can understand that most of the uh, social media platforms that uh, are that we use nowadays they either use the publish subscribe or the push pull model or a combination of both now let us try to understand the push pull model we know that in many of the social media platforms that we use we scroll down uh, the various things you know we scroll 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 and various topics the uh, various videos or images or uh, news items or whatever they come into our feed okay into our timeline so it you can you can uh, visualize it as a queue one after another one after another the topics the various uh, images or whatever content it is stacked okay one after another one after another one after another one after another like that so you can think of it as a queue okay so this queue 
it uh, acts as a buffer or, or you can think of it as a decoupling unit okay between the producers the data producers and the consumers okay which uh, manages any mismatch in the rate at which the data is generated by the producers or at the rate in which it is consumed or used by the consumers okay so most of the social media platforms that we use nowadays it is a combination of the publish subscribe model where we have to like somebody's page i have already told this in the previous uh, in the publish subscribe model that the in in that model we have to like somebody's page subscribe to someone's channel or we have to follow someone uh, someone's profile then all the data and content related to that channel or that person's or uh, uh, that communities or whatever that page or uh, uh, that that uh, uh, any anything it comes into our timeline okay so that is the publish subscribe model in the push pull model we scroll 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 and all the things that are uh, in our queue okay in our queue in our uh, devices queue or our accounts queue that we in the in the social media accounts queue that is it comes one after another so it is stacked up okay so it is a combination of the publish subscribe and the push pull model okay so this is the uh, block diagram representation of the push pull model so here the data producers they generate the data related to various topics it is pushed into these queues okay so there are many data producers okay unlimited uh, uh, the sources of data which is available on the internet so it is just a simple representation the actual is quite complex and would be uh, very difficult to understand so we, sh we will understand it through this simple means so the data producers they generate the data the data is pushed into these queues where it is slotted into one of these slots and you can think of it as a moving slot okay when the consumer or the user of the internet who is using a particular social media platform he or she scrolls down and uh, he chooses to see that content or that video or that image or that uh, uh, link which is given so depending on that the queues they function okay so this is the uh, push pull communication model in the internet of network okay